Hello, um, we are from Zambia. My name is Paul Zulu. And I'm Agnes Chanda. So we are looking at uh, domestic organic waste disposal. So looking at domestic waste disposal, this is where organic wastes are recycled or converted into useful matter by different recycling methods. And uh, this waste is used for different things. Now, we, I'm going to look at how much waste is generated in Lusaka, Zambia, to be specific. So Lusaka generates about 2,700 tons of waste per day, making approximately about 9 million ton per year. Now, the amount of waste uh, that is obtained 55% of it is organic waste, which includes uh, food waste, plant and plant waste, including some many more waste, which are organic waste. And we have uh, a disposal site in Lusaka, which is Shunga Dump Site, which covers about 10 acres of land for waste management. But this land has been encroached by humans part of the land actually has been encroached. So hence there is no enough land for waste disposal. And the population of Zambia as of May 2020 is 16 million. From this population, only about 26% has access to proper waste management. And the rest, there is um, poor management of waste and they don't have a disposal site. So uh, the problems that uh, most Zambians face we have poor organic waste management due to high pollution density and plant settlement and lack of awareness on waste management. Then uh, poor organic waste management has a huge impact on the health of the local communities in Zambia. So we have diseases like typhoid, we have cholera, we have dysentery. Most of uh, these uh, uh, water related diseases because of the floods that Zambia faces. Then we have uncoordinated disposal of waste at the dam site. So the dam site that is provided, but is not coordinated proper disposal of waste. So we don't have coordination. Well, uh, organic waste has its own disposal site and uh, non-organic waste has its own disposal site. It's not, they, we don't have that coordination. Then the waste collectors don't have appropriate personal protective equipment. So it makes it hard for waste to be collected properly or managed properly. Then the challenges that we face here in Zambia, uh, it's the same uncoordinated disposal of waste at household level. So mostly people do not coordinate their disposal of waste of organic and waste organic properly, which brings about challenges in the collection and disposal or the recycling of waste is hard because the waste is not properly coordinated. Then we have limited companies that collect waste. Waste, sorry. Uh, so this waste is supposed to be recycled, but the limitation in companies that are involved in the recycling of waste, uh, we have limitations in these companies. Yeah, so what can we do in order to like make this waste productive, in order to find productivity in this waste? So the waste can be used to make uh, green charcoal, which are, the char which are the brigades. Yeah, so these are made from organic matter and when used as charcoal or as a source of fuel, they emit less carbon compared to charcoal, thereby saving on uh, global warming. So we can also use waste to make compost. This same compost can now be used to make compost tea, uh, pellets, also compost tea bags that can be diluted with water during irrigation, also used as uh, drenching during irrigation. Also the use of waste from households and markets can be used to make animal feed. Yeah, so this can either be dried or be treated somehow and uh, fed to animals, or they can be ground into powder and used as part of the ingredients when formulating feed. We can also reduce the volume of waste requiring disposal and maximizing the economic value of waste. So when we add value to this waste, we are simply uh, save, saving lives and also minimizing the rate of pollution. Uh, we can also maximize the collection efficiency of waste. Yeah. 
So after all this is done, we can develop and adopt environmental resound treatment and disposal methods and practices. Part of these are creating awareness, involving media, uh, making advertisements in order to, uh, to at least deliver this information to different people out there so that they can now uh, adopt, uh, have a mind shift. They can find a uh, proper means of disposing of waste so that it will be easier for the garbage collectors to also uh, separate the, the, the waste at dump site. Yeah. So we have um, methods collecting organic waste management, methods we can use in collecting uh, organic waste. So we have separation of domestic waste at household level, organic from non-organic waste. So we can use uh, plastic bags and coloring them or naming what type of uh, waste to be deposited in that uh, bin. Then we can transport the organic waste to treatment sites with the use of vehicles to the, uh, uh, turning them or transporting them to treatment site. So after these have been segregated according to the type of waste, it would, it would make it easier for transporting or recycling of this waste. Of this waste, then in treatment of waste, we can use uh, solar energy and we can use uh, dehydrators or we can use the method of trenching which is uh, just digging up a pit then burying the waste so at least after it rots it can be used as manure and in conclusion yeah in conclusion we have to make sure that these methods are incorporated in our community we have to make sure that awareness is made a must we can also include this in uh, curriculum, we start informing people at a tender age so that as they grow, they have it registered to say waste is supposed to be separated at household level. This is being done elsewhere, so it can also be done in Zambia. So we can also use the manure as a source of income for many households. We can also use it as a source of fertilizer for organic farmers. We also need to strengthen policies that put up these laws. So the government should actively be involved in this and also the Environmental Council of Zambia should actively be involved in this and make sure that this information is delivered to the right people. Yeah, so we can use radio, uh, TV stations, we can use Facebook, we can also use influencers to actually deliver this information to everyone. And that way we can improve our economy, we can reduce on pollution, we can reduce on a lot of things. Yeah, another thing is um, what can be done is also to like start from ourselves. Let it uh, begin from us for they say charity begins at home. So we can implement this, tell our neighbors, neighbors will tell their neighbors and that way the chain will grow and will make Zambia a better place. So thank you. This is what we had for you. Yeah, thank you so much.